Top of the top DM and code found. This is your guy Mills with the DM and code brand where we aspire to hashtag inspire. So today I want to make a video about benching. Um, the things that I do for my newbies that are getting in there with the New Year's Eve resolution, things that you can do. Uh, hey, I'm going to take you guys to edge with me today. So let's roll. If you're an early morning gym goer like myself, I would suggest, especially if you guys are trying to put on size, uh, make sure you get some carbs in your system, man. Carbs and a little bit of fat. So I do have oatmeal, peanut butter, and also I do have this banana to top everything off. I'm going to be eating, well, I'm eating this actually one hour, no, actually 30 minutes prior to my workout. So, Guys, before I actually get into the gym, before it starts to get extremely loud in there, you guys know how it goes. Um, I want to explain a few things to you. As far as with my training, there's a few things that I look for. A few things, especially if you're beginning, that you wanna look for in your training. And look these up. Um, you wanna look up progressive overload. Also, you wanna look up stabilization. I know a lot of you guys, um, that's especially starting benching for the first time, you're gonna get that weird shake once you start to bench, but that's okay. That's just your stabilizers um, actually working. So eventually, as you keep on continuing to bench, as you keep on going, that is gonna go away. But um, those are a few things that I, that I want to explain to you. Also, make sure that you guys are warming up properly, doing the basic push-ups, doing the basic pull-ups. Um, honestly, I wouldn't move and really do anything until those are actually conquered. So you want to make sure that you can actually do a real full pull-up or push-up before you really start getting in the bench. That's where the true strength is. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, uh, take a look at some of the things I'm doing. First and foremost, probably to get, you know, really um, on my lift. First and foremost, probably to really start my lift. I make sure that my eye position is right. I'm looking at the bar. My eyes always wants to be locked at the bar, eye level. Uh, my footing, and also my hand grip width. I like to be shoulder width. Today, the way that my split is set up, I'll only be doing two sets of like eight to 10. Uh, and plus, not to mention, I'll be actually benching again in the next two or three days. So, have a push pull split. <laughs> Big tip when you're benching, make sure you're in full control of your reps, man. When I'm coming down, I'm in full control. I'm not dropping all the way down. I want to feel that contraction. I want to feel that slow motion. I want to know that I'm in control of it. So no matter what you start off with, just make sure that you're in control of whatever you're doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
that guys, it's called a drop set. If I feel myself struggling and I can't get that last rep, just drop the weight down and complete the rest of your reps. Hey, DMCO fam, that wraps up today's chest workout. Hopefully, you guys learned something. A few things to take away is go at your own pace. Everybody start somewhere. Work on your basics, man, and get better every week. Remember, progressive overload. If you guys want to learn about anything else, please uh, feel free to comment below. Instagram, the DMCO brand. And also, feel free to get some of this drip. Merch is available at dmcobrand.com.